Hi, and welcome back to my channel. The open source AMD Vulkan driver was updated yesterday and some new features and improvements were added, such as the updated Vulkan headers and newly exposed extensions, namely mutable descriptor type, which is already present in RAD v since 22.3. It reduces the descriptor memory footprint and yields more efficient emulation of the raw Direct 3D12 binding model. I tested some DX12 games to see if it would improve gaming performance. After all the benchmarks, we can now compare the results we got for the games I tested. For Cyberpunk, I saw an almost 4% performance increase over the previous AMD Vulkan driver, but it's still almost 6% behind Riot V. In Horizon Dawn, I saw a 1% performance uplift, which I guess can be considered within the margin of error, and it is still a whopping 34% slower than Riot V. For Eternal it gets even worse. The newest driver performed near identical to the previous one and it's a massive 45% slower than Rad V. The difference was so big I had to recheck my benchmarks a few times, but yes, the difference is actually this big. I've not used AMD Vulkan in a very long time and after seeing my initial benchmarks in Cyberpunk, I was maybe a bit overzealous to think that it's getting close to Rad V performance. Rad V is still clearly the driver to use if you're on an AMD card. I've heard that AMD Vulkan is better at ray tracing. But since I own a 6600 XT, this is not something I even dare to test. I would like to hear if anyone else has tested this. Well, that is it for today. Take care and cheers.